Hello and welcome back to the Grand Tour game. And in this one, we're gonna continue with episode 5 and see what's going on there. Supercar is dismantled for no reason. A man with no shirt on. And my whole tongue is wrapped up in intestine. My whole tongue is wrapped up in intestine. <laughs> Those are the highlights. Those are the best bits. They really are. Anyway, over here in the West, we tend to think that at 360,000 pounds, a Rolls Royce Phantom is quite expensive but this week the grand tour is focusing mostly on china and over there things are a bit different so i called may and hammond and we came up with an idea if you are a chinese businessman or businessman woman and you want a car that reflects your status, you don't need to spend 880,000 pounds. You can simply pop over to Europe and buy a Mercedes S-Class like this one. Mm. And even though this is the six liter V12, it costs me just 8,800 pounds. In other words, you could have a hundred of these for the price of a honky. Mm. At this point, my colleague Richard Hammond arrived in something or other. What hmm. is that? This is a Cadillac STS, and you can shut up. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> we were then interrupted by the arrival of Clarkson in a BMW. Ooh, I see you've bought the long car. Yours is long as well. Are you two being from the 1970s? No, they're long wheelbase. <laughs> 3.4 litre V12. <coughs> Appearing before your eyes. How can a German car go? Are you it? sure it's a real one? Was it parked in the sea when you bought it? Let's not get it. bogged down with the oxidization of my car. Because a lot of Chinese people, as we know, come to Europe these days. If Chinese people are going to come to the UK and buy Western soap and Western frogs, why would they not buy Western cars when they're there? Yeah, because you can't you can't buy these cars secondhand over here. No, they're not. This vintage isn't available here. No, no. And what we're saying is, you can buy one of these for a lot less than a luxury honky. A okay. lot, lot less. And that's what we're here to prove, people of China. <laughs> Which made it of perfect course. for an ingenious handling test that I just thought of. Now, to do this, we're going to use drones like this one, which have been fitted with flamethrowers. They actually use hmm. these in China for clearing um, litter that's got stuck on overhead power cables. Right, so how are we going to use airborne flamethrowers like this mm -hmm. to test the power and agility of our cars? Good question. Each of our cars has, as you can see, been fitted with three chains of firecrackers. One on the bonnet, one on the roof, one on the boot lid, okay? So you drive around a special course here while you're attacked by the airborne flamethrowers. And then you score a point when you've finished for every one of the targets that haven't gone off. Okay, I almost forgot about this one. You should time it. Ooh. Ooh. That was a close one. Go, 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 go. Oh. 
Go, go, go. Ooh. Where is the next one? You're over here. Uh, I'm, a, you know, I'm a coward. Try it uh oh. Go, go, go. Yes. Oof. The first one. <laughs> Here you go. Clock clock. Let's do this. Go. Oops. Oh, that looks tricky. Oh, Oops. Come on, turn. Oh, uh, not this one. Oh, I got speed. Ooh. Keep the speed. Oh, let's go. Let's have some momentum. Thank you. No break. This one sucks. Don't worry about me. This quite scary through here. Oh! It's finished. Oh my god. Oh, oh clock son. Go, 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 go! Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Him. It will have alarmed him, Sam, yeah. You know dogs don't like fire. No, they hate it. Hmm. Come on, mate. Let's do this. Danger. Fire is dangerous. Got that right. Go, 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 go. Oh, get there. Okay. Let's have a roll. And go, go, go. Wait, go, go, go. Take the inside. Roll, 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 and go. Rolling, rolling. Oh, go, 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 go. So let's take it easy. And go. Oh, yeah, let's go. Go, 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 go. Whee! Oof. That was fun. No. We had a call the other day from a Chinese car manufacturer called Neo, and they said we have built a blisteringly fast all-electric supercar, and would one of you like to try it out? Yeah, now, after his escapade going up a Swiss hill in a blisteringly fast all-electric supercar, Richard Hammond said that he really didn't think he <laughs> was the man for the job. However, yeah. it turned out that the car was only available for one day, and unfortunately on that day I had the boiler man coming round. Yep. And I had a dental appointment. D dentist. Dental yep. appointment, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, guess what? You get it. I believe in you. Here it is. It's called the EP9. And it's pretty clear that this is no Nissan Leaf. Hello. Because a Leaf doesn't have giant head restraints to stop G-forces from snapping your neck during hard hmm. cornering. And that's just the start. What I have.
have here is a comparison between this Neo EP9 and the Rimac Concept 1, in which I had my little um, <laughs> tumble down a Swiss mountain side. So, in the Rimac Concept 1, power 1,207 brake horsepower. In this Neo, 1,341 <laughs> brake horsepower. Power to weight in the Rimac is 652 brake horsepower per ton in this neo 773 brake horsepower <laughs> per ton oh good so no pressure then right the high voltage system is active so here goes to launch it's got to be in drive Left foot on brake, right foot mash the throttle, right hand hold that back for one, two, three, four, five. Come off the brake. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. That thing moves. We're off. Oh Right. Go, go, go. <laughs> Oops. It's like driving a jet engine. Something else about which I have bad memories. <laughs> this is a bad place. Oh, However, there is some good news for people like me. The brakes. Are good. That's put everything back where it should be. My eyes have come forward, my lungs are on the front again. Oh. <laughs> now, if you want to experience this phenomenal speed for yourself, you will need two things. First of all, a lot of money, because this costs 1.15 million Ooh. pounds. Secondly, a racetrack, because it works like that Ferrari FXX, where you buy the car, they deliver it to a track for you, along with a support team, you drive it, crap yourself, <laughs> and they take it away and hose it out for you. Since it's an electric car, you'll be wondering about range. Obviously, if you hammer it around a track, you are going to wear those batteries out pretty quickly. However, on the plus side, they only take 45 minutes to charge. Well, that's good. But you can fill up a petrol the tank in side, you have to take the batteries out one minute. Do it. Two. And as they weigh 317 kilograms each, you won't hmm. be doing that on your own. It is a bit more of a faff than, say, a can of petrol. <laughs> Watching that has convinced me that I will never buy an electric car as long oh. as I live. Why not? Because why on earth would I want to employ a team of men and buy a forklift every time I need to go anywhere? <laughs> yeah, that's all very well, but a lot of people are more enlightened than you, including me and Baxter Hammond. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, what are the... how does it compare with the Rimac? That was well, interesting. Th yes, they are, sure. The Neo, it's just, the Neo is just more of everything. It's more power, more grip, more speed. I, don't, I have to say, that looked painfully fast, that it car. Is. I mean, It is really. astonishingly fast, but it is a novelty, an amazing, powerful, fast one, but a novelty nevertheless. And we should make it absolutely clear that you can't drive it on the road at all, can you? No. It's not road no, legal. you can't, unlike the Rimac, which you can, that's what makes it so amazing. And there's a new Rimac coming out <laughs> soon. That'll have more than 1900 horsepower. Oh my god. Imagine the size of the internal combustion engine you would need to make 1900 horsepower. It would be, be massive. Nope. That's why the a V6 GTR. Like and you get 2000 hour horsepower. It is. It is. It is. It is. 
it is. That's the way it's going to go. It's the way it is going. OK, then, let's find out how fast your beloved Neo goes around the Ebola drone. Good job. That was sick. Your elegantly entitled N10, no Neo, Neo. EP9. Yes. Got round, shall we? Here we go. <clears throat> Top ten. Come on. There you go. Oh yeah. Look at them oh, yes. oh yes. Oh yeah. yes. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. yeah. That, that is faster. Faster than the Aston Martin Vulcan. You're absolutely right, Hammond. It is a very impressive car, and it is faster than a Vulcan. But it's slower than the petrol-powered McLaren <laughs> Senna, which is road legal. So that is petrol one, yes. electricity zero. All right, don't do that face. <laughs> don't do that face. No. Smug face. Not the smug face. I don't... James, just move it on quick. Yes, uh, in this show, we are explaining to the people of China that they don't need to waste huge sums of money on new luxury cars when they could buy something used from Europe for a lot less. The air conditioning is now so broken that it's permanently hot even when I turn it to low and press every <laughs> auto button. I decided there was only one thing I could do about this. Ignore him. I'm going to take the BMW. Go. Having sound yourself, you're ruining my Oh day. no, whoops. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is mine. More horsepower, I need it. Damn, mate, eh? you fast. Coming through. Uh oh. Damn it, Hammond. Ooh. However, in the USS Norman Schwarzkopf. <laughs> What's happened? Loads of warnings came on, and then Ooh. it lost power. I made it to this off ramp, and now it's it died. Oh dear! Not sure my jump leads are going to get that going, are they? No. Oh, look. <laughs> That's a lot of smoke. Oh, That's really gone bang, isn't it? There's oil coming out everywhere. This was actually part of the road that li the only road that linked the then capital of China with India and Burma. Yeah, well, before that, all the supplies that came into China had to be flown over the Himalayas, which was incredibly dangerous in the 30s. I think the Americans lost something like D sorry 400... To, sorry to interrupt. See this stupid thing? Hmm. Well, never mind that. Look what he's driving. Why, is that Hammond? <laughs> I guess the Cadillac's definitely broken. <laughs> nice. You think? 
Check out my Fulu. Why have you got that? Well, I wasn't going to let you have all the fun, was I? No, but um, don't mind that. Why have you got it? Well, my telephone translation device at the toll booth worked to a degree, to this extent. What? You, <laughs> somebody got you a car? Look, I've got wheels, three of them. <laughs> anyway, listen. Here's what we're doing. Yeah. It's a test of speed, because we are against the clock. Bear that in mind, OK? OK. And durability at the same time. So you've got to get up this road, which goes all the way up there, OK, as fast as possible, and keep your car in one piece in the process. Richard and I decided that James should volunteer to go first. Oh, oh you look exactly like a racing driver, apart from visually. <laughs> It's a racing cloud. Can we just get on with it? It's very hot in here. Are you going with your window down or up? A lot no. of stones, down. It's a small risk from being hit by a stone. It's a large risk of dying from suffocation. Right. Anything yeah. else we want to say to him? Yes, Let's go. take some time and prepare hmm. mentally. And really think about this. Go. Can you visualise the course? No. OK. He looks quite cross. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Here we go. Come on, mate. You and me can do this. It's easy. Oops. That worked out. Good. I think. I'm looking forward to do this with Hammer. That's going to take forever. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Oh no! Whoop! Oh my! Oh my God! Oh, what am I doing? Okay, this is the end, I think, over here, and finish, 2.29. Right, I'm attaching the wobbly-headed symbol of capitalism here <laughs> to bring me good fortune on this perilous test. If you're ready. Yes. Five, four, three, <laughs> One, go! No. Get a bloody move off! Um, try. Hard to see when the corners come sometime. Guess I don't see. Whee. 
Oops. Oops. Sorry, clocks up. Halfway there. Let's do it. Whoops. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> I've won that. Maybe. Well, we don't know. We haven't got your time yet. You said your words test of durability and is against the clock. Your car is broken. It's not broken. A tire's mm. come off. Broken. <laughs> Down at the start line, I was waiting for the signal to go. Yes. Little cubby hole. Richard Hammond. Hello, yes. Three, two, one, go. Oh, come on, I'm not right. Uh, okay, here I go. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Oh, thank you. Well, this is very exciting. Really, really, really exciting. Here we go. So was that a crash or did he just disappear behind the... He has, look, he's gone off there. Uh, so there we are. I'm afraid that... Poor Richard Hammond. Hammond's luck has finally run out. And it's with deep regret and great sadness that James and I must now announce the untimely demise of... All right! <laughs> Not again. How does he do it? I don't know. Well, on that terrible disappointment, back to the tent. Oh, I'm face. I'm okay. I'm okay. Slug face. Don't worry. Slug. Slug, because I won that. No, you didn't. <laughs> you did. I was the fastest, and it was supposed to be a test of fun, and you moaned the entire way up the hill. Hello. What? what? Hello. I did have quite a big crash at the end there. Well, I just there's, could... there's nothing particularly remarkable about that, is no. there? I mean, why would we... The fact is, the reason you crashed, well, obviously you're incompetent, <laughs> but also because your Cadillac broke down and your Mercedes was too humid. So that means <laughs> the winner is definitely of the whole thing. The BMW 750i. What? Actually, no. To be fair, the real winner of the whole thing was our brilliant idea to sell second-hand limos the Chinese. No, he's absolutely right about that because it makes them happy and it helps us with our balance of payments. Yeah. Everybody wins. Mm. It was a good idea, yes. except for one tiny detail. You see, this program is shown in every single country in the world. 
Except one. China. <laughs> Which one? China. So this entire show has been a total waste of time. It's an hour of your life. But You're have fun. And on that terrible disappointment, it's time to end. Next week, I'm happy to say, we're back in the groove. We're in Scotland, and I get an Alfa Romeo GT V6. Make me very happy. See you then. Take care. Good night. Good night. And it's the end of this episode. So I thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.